Hey all, I'm Hami from Hami's World, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to whiten teeth. Um, first, uh, this is a photo of me and my husband, um, so for my purposes I'm going to uh, create a new layer and uh, grab the selection tool and um, fill that with any color, just because I don't want to have to look at my own face while I do this. <laughs> kind of difficult to do. There are several techniques and ways that you can um, fix and whiten teeth. One of them is uh, over here if you have a newer version of Photoshop Elements. There's the Smart Brush Tool and the Detailed Smart Brush Tool and you can utilize the pearly whites in order to um, fix your uh, teeth to make them whiter but I'm going to show you some other methods of doing this in Photoshop Elements. Um, first I'm going to hit Control J on my keyboard to duplicate the photo layer so that we can tuck this bottom layer away in case we want to reuse it. Um, especially with this first technique because it does permanently change the photo. If you go get your uh, Dodge tool and uh, zoom way in, you can see um, the yellow on my teeth. It's not so evident when I'm zoomed out. And uh, use the mid-tones and move the exposure really far down. This is important um, to move it uh, very far down. And then just begin uh, brushing on the teeth a little bit and especially in the yellow areas and this um, will whiten the teeth up and but you can see it's permanently making uh, changes to uh, the photo itself and so this is why I don't recommend using this technique but you can go through here and do that and uh, makes the photo um, quickly uh, edited. Let me show you why you don't want this exposure really far up because when you go in here and you begin making the teeth a lot wider instead of gradually wider, um, you end up looking, I'm going to do this real fast with not much precision, and then you zoom out and you see your teeth don't look realistic. They almost look like I've got um, some buck teeth going on there. So I'm going to delete that layer <coughs> and um, bring back this one. Uh, there are two things you need to do to brighten the teeth. One, um, most teeth are this way because you've been drinking tea or coffee, in my, in my case tea, and the teeth are a little bit yellowed and so you need to get rid of the yellow and then you need to brighten up the teeth. In order to get rid of the yellow let's do the create a new adjustment layer and choose solid color and oops, create new adjustment layer um, hue and saturation I'm sorry and then in the drop down menu choose the yellow and then move the slight lightness slider all the way over to the right and you can see as I was doing that it immediately removed all the yellow in the teeth the problem with this though is that it has removed all the yellow in the entire uh, photo even on the faces and in this case it, it didn't make uh, make it look too bad but it could in your photos make it uh, look really bad so then what you need to do is um, use the uh, layer mask that comes with this uh, new adjustment layer and I'm going to click on this and then hit control I to invert it. Now you can see all that yellow came back into my teeth because white reveals and black conceals. So right now none of this adjustment is applying to my photo because it's all black. So I'm going to get white in my foreground color. I'm going to grab the brush tool and make sure I'm on the mask by clicking on it and then zoom in and paint 
on my teeth. And you can see how the yellow is coming right off of them. And if you need to, you and you maybe get too much of the gum or the lips or something like that, uh, you can always switch the foreground and the background color and go to black and then, you know, get right in there and undo the parts that are, are not supposed to be affected if you need to do that. Um, now what I'm going to do, now that I've got this layer mask of my teeth, well actually I'm going to go up and do my husband's teeth before we finish. Brush a little bit bigger and I'm, uh, I would take more time with this normally, but uh, I'm going to do it fast for the sake of this uh, lesson. So now we have both of our teeth done at the same time and you can see I'm going to turn the layer mask off and on. You can see how much wider they are and how much more natural they are. Now let's brighten that up. I'm going to hold down my control key and click on the layer mask and you're going to see that it makes a selection of all of the areas that, and you can see here I missed a few, it's control D to deselect and paint a little bit in there on my teeth. That's a good way to tell what you've got selected and what you don't. So. And there, I made a selection of our teeth, and if I go to the new adjustment layer, and then um, brightness and contrast, you'll see that it automatically puts that same selection, it, it's gone over here on our desktop, automatically puts that selection into a layer mask. And then I can choose to move the sliders a little bit. Oh, you don't want to go too bright because see there's that buck teeth again. Just move the sliders over just a slight bit to brighten the teeth. <coughs> you can even do the contrast if you need to. And that's it. That's all we have to it. I'll take off this because I could look at my uh, face a little bit again. It might help you a little bit. And so I'm going to take the adjustments off and put them back on so that you can see the difference that it is making off and on. And if you need to, if you think that is a little bit too much, which I think it is, remember that on these adjustments you can lower the opacity of the layer. And so um, that's what I've done on this brightness and uh, I think that is actually a little more realistic before and after. And so that's how we fix teeth. And I hope you've learned a little bit today. Come back and uh, visit me again.